Um, good morning, everyone. I'm Taylor. I am a doctor student at the Graduate School of International Tourism Management at Toyo University in Japan. Uh, my research focuses on music tourism. My presentation topic is a qualitative analysis of music tourism from music logic perspective. And this is a presentation online for today. Part one would be the theoretical model. According to the model of musical topophilia, there are four types of musical symbols. And today I'm going to talk about the fourth type the places where music is produced, distributed, and consumed, uh, such as the location of music festival or a concert. Part two is a research objective. Based on the theory of musical equilibration to analyze the Japanese singer, Hamasaki Ayumi's work to uh, explain the emotional efficacy for the fans and throw the qualitative analysis <laughs> of the interview data. It will explain the necessity of transnational music tourism and uh, the irreplaceability of concert. Next, it's case study. Um, I made this singer as a steady case because she has got a lot of achievements in pop music, not only uh, Japan or Asia, but also the worldwide. Uh, according to the chart masters, there is a global artist ranking called ASR. Masaki Ayumi's latest ranking is 126, which is the number one in Asia. And uh, here also has a concept called commensurate sales to popularity concept, CSPC in short. It measures the popularity of the artist's work and she's ranked 106 in the world. Hamasaki Ayumi drives a huge music economy and with that also influences the tourism industry. Many overseas tourists come to Japan to attend her concert. Um, 2023 is the uh, 25th anniversary of her debut. Uh, she held the New Year's Eve concert in Tokyo, and it attracted many overseas visitors. The left picture is the Japanese fans dressed up to imitate Ayumi. And uh, the red one is a group of Chinese fans. Um, those are uh, Taiwanese and Chinese fans. There is a lottery system for concerts in Japan. It means that not everyone is successful in purchasing the ticket. So all of the interviewees came to Japan only after confirming that the had draw the ticket, which means that music was the main motivation for their trip. And next part, methodology. The research was conducted through semi-structure uh, interview and a survey with 11 fans. From overseas who participate in Hamasaki Ayumi's concert. And this is the interview is information. Um, please note that uh, here I have indicated the fine age. I will explain its intent later. Uh, then I will talk about the results in each. Since music preference directly influence the tourist's choice of destination. During the interviews, um, participants mentioned the songs that they had emotional attachments to, or that they have loved for more than 10 years. The most frequently mentioned song was Seasons. This is the song that was released in the year 2000. Uh, we can see the CSPC of this song is 
number one. Meanwhile, Hamasaki Ayumi performed this song at the concert. Since I was there, so I was observe the audience. The song caused a great reaction that day. Then I will analyze the song Seasons from a musicologic perspective. In terms of chords, the sub subdominant with a major seventh chord is present in huge numbers in this piece. The major subdominant can be used to express a feeling of serenity. If it is a major seventh chord, then it is giving a dissonance which traditional harmonic theory suggests needs to be resolved. That is a search for equilibrium. In brief, according to the theory of musical equilibration, the idea of musical resolution can be understood as the desire to make sure the things remain unchanged. After the musical resolution is accomplished, an emotional satisfaction is obtained. And this kind of sensation can be felt many times in the same song. And this is one of the uh, reasons why the song plays an important role among the fans. The next point, um, I made a word cloud from the interview uh, to analyze the motivation for people to the concert. The first one is about an identity, which includes the several factors of musical pilgrimage, that is to establish a link with the idol, the other like-minded people and their past selves. The second is uh, about immersion and synchronization. Yeah. It means people need compulsion to proximity to their idols, being in the same space and the time. The third is uh, the sense of realness. Some interview is mentioned the phenomenon of lip siege at concert in some reasons. And Hamasaki Ayumi always use her real voice. And so this is also a reason for them. Another internal demand of the audience is to be seen. Some interview is that they could get the eye contact with Hamasaki Ayumi during the concert. While being seen by others is a basic human need. It is founded in evolution. And uh, the third point, I would like to discuss why people still have a deep love for sons from 25 years ago. The average fine age is uh, 17 years and their actual age was 30 years. It means that they started to uh, like Hamasaki Ayumi when they were teenagers. The music preference of uh, adolescents gradually become a part of their own growth process and uh, play an uh, important role in building the foundation of people's music aesthetics. The last part. Um, in conclusion, the concerts are irreplaceable in the foreseeable future, but with the uh, popularization of the internet, it's difficult to replicate the 25-year Hamasaki Ayumi effect. But the uh, psychological mm -hmm. and uh, emotional mm -hmm. man's of the audience, as well as the tonal characteristics of the song, represent a valuable reference for the tourism and music industries. And one more discussion. The interviewees were contacted in a snowball approach and uh, the data on overseas tourism from China and Taiwan were obtained from the interviewees voluntarily. voluntarily. The official offset does not announce any number or percentage of specific overseas tourists for this concert. And this is a reference. Thanks for listening.